here. Let's get a check on that Friday forecast. I'm telling you, we saw Ashley up in Lake Tahoe look beautiful. It did look beautiful. But it's going to be just as beautiful here in Sacramento, too. Oh, my gosh. You have your pick. <laughs> yeah. You can go to the coastline. You can stay here in the valley floor. You can go up to the hills. Wherever you go, you're going to love it. We got afternoon highs expected to be in the 80s. They're trending about 10 degrees below average. So it's not too hot. It's not too cool. It is just right. And that's going to be with us over the course of the holiday weekend. Not just a day or two. We're going um, extra about four or five days with temperatures well below average for this time of the year. So take a look at what's ahead. Yesterday, we warmed up to 87 in Downtown Sacramento. Today, a repeat performance, a cool start with afternoon highs in the upper 80s to the low 90s for the valley floor. Enjoy Fourth of July weekend. Below normal temperatures in the forecast and holiday safety. Ashley touched on it a bit, but campfire safety, wildfire safety, water safety, all the things we have to do when we're out there kind of taking advantage of some of this great weather. 90 degrees at afternoon high here in Sacramento, 87 in Vacaville, 88 coming in for Stockton. I got the mid 80s in the foothills and 86 in Auburn, 85 in Placerville, 90 in San Andreas, and look at that, the upper 70s in Truckee, 81 in South Lake Tahoe. So let's get to the weekend, because it's a holiday weekend. Saturday and Sunday, both days in the Valley Floor in the lower 80s, plenty of sunshine. For the foothills, you'll have plenty of sunshine Saturday with an afternoon half 81, 73 coming in for Sunday with a few more clouds. But the Sierra, that low pressure system's digging in, you'll see their temperatures in the lower 70s. Sunday expected to be the cooler of the two weekend days. Sunday coming in 66 with partly cloudy conditions. And if you're Headed to the Bay Area, mid 60s both days, Saturday and Sunday. You'll have morning clouds with uh, plenty of sunshine for the afternoon. So, we've essentially talked about the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Let's get to the fourth. That's mid 80s with plenty of sunshine. Tuesday, a little bit more of the same, and then temperatures are warming up Wednesday and Thursday. The takeaway, though, is the cooler conditions that we've had continue to be the main ingredient in our weather forecast. That's a look at your first alert weather with your seven day forecast. Good morning, Court. Good morning to you.